Memory is a fascinating thing, isn't it? Any time I come across anything to do with the circus, and boy, this is really a fascinating book. But that's not the point. The point is the circus. My memory swings back to my childhood because I went to a circus. I must have been about seven or eight years old. And this was back in Hungary. And my mother gave me a snack to take along with me. And every time circus comes up in any connection, my mind goes back to that good old Hungarian bread, which was lathered with butter and green pepper. That was my snack. Bread, butter with green pepper. You know what? I've loved it ever since. But today, we question such snacks. Why? Because of the carbohydrate content of the bread. And I've been looking into this now for quite a while. And it is really a, a plethora of papers and information that floods us about the keto diets, the very low carbohydrate diets. Well, I must say that I've been surprised by some of the research that I've come across. Uh, I would have thought that by having all of that fat in the diet that uh, risk uh, levels of certain cardiovascular factors would go up. Uh, well, there actually isn't all that much alteration in those risk, uh, risk factors. And when it comes to diabetes, uh, the information is really overwhelming uh, to the benefit of these low carb diets that are people type 2 di diabetes uh, sufferers who have been able to give up their medication by following a stringent, very low carbohydrate diet. There are also those who claim that their mental fog has cleared up when they go on a very low carbohydrate diet. On the other hand, there are allegations about uh, benefits for cancer, for Parkinson's disease, and for Alzheimer's disease. Those are not scientifically based. But what we do know is that weight loss can be very significant on a low carbohydrate diet and, as I said, surprisingly, without any significant uh, risk factors. On the other hand, uh, the longest term studies that I've seen, which were really properly controlled, have only been about six months. And that isn't really long enough. Because we also know from a, a wealth of dietary studies that after about a year, it doesn't much matter what kind of diet you're on when it comes to weight loss. Whether it's low fat, whether it's low carb, the results tend to be the same as long as you're cutting out some uh, calories. However, uh, for people who uh, are afflicted with uh, diabetes, I think there's no question that the very low carb diets are, are worth trying. Now, as I was saying, unfortunately, now I have to look a bit askew at you know my standard uh, snack here of uh, green pepper and butter and bread. And uh, uh, I've been eating less bread. I haven't cut it out because I don't think I need to do that, but I'm eating less. So, so what do we do if you are gravitating towards a low carbohydrate diet? No bread, you can still have the green pepper, uh, but uh, I don't want to slather it with butter. I mean, many people on low carbohydrate diets say that they eat lots of butter. I don't think that's a good idea, but there are alternatives. For example, hummus. So instead of putting the uh, green pepper on the bread, what about putting the hummus on the green pepper for a snack? Or if you're not so much into green pepper, I think broccoli will also do. Hmm. Broccoli, hummus, green pepper, hummus. Um, we're in the keto direction there. And you know what? It tastes good. So I think it is possible to cut down on the bread, but still, you know, I have all of that nostalgia about uh, going to the circus, having the bread with lots of butter and the green pepper. So, you know what? For nostalgia. Mmm, tastes good. But I keep following this, and as you can see, there's a veritable circus of scientific research on the keto diet. We'll keep you up to date.